Good morning, Elliot. How are you? Is that right? I love you too. Hold on. I'm giving you a pet. Oh, that's my boy. You like that? Oh, yes, you do. Morning, guys. We are going to make an Americano. Oh, what you looking at? Looking at your food? You looking at your food? Are you keto? All done. I like to pack my cup full of ice. Couple tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. A little more than two tablespoons. Some liquid sucralose. I love these lids. They're the shiznit. Sorry if it looks like I was just crying. I just had a tickle in my throat and cough like crazy. I'm better now. I've been really trying to watch the cream. That's why I weighed it out. I'm definitely like trying to lose weight right now. Not like a lot of weight, but um, because I'm working out and trying to like lose fat. So I'm kind of like trying to watch what I'm eating and you know calorie intake and stuff. So the last video I did was that chicken crust pizza video, which I was like really happy about, and I. I love those chicken crust pizzas, you guys. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, I'll link the video somewhere. Maybe I'll put it in the screen or whatever. But um, my oven's been taking a crap on me. It's been coding like three different codes. So it's like really messing with my game because I've been wanting to make some um, psyllium husk buns. I've been wanting to make some like roasted chicken. Like you know how I like to roast my chicken forever. But when like my temperature sensor's off and like a couple other things, a ghost ice cube just fell out of my fridge. I gotta get that before it melts. But anyway, so I haven't seen you guys forever. I miss you guys so much. I'm like really hoping that I can get through this full day of eating because I actually tried to film one a couple days ago. I haven't been able to make it through. I don't know, I keep forgetting and whatever. Uh oh. What's wrong? But I haven't shown you guys because I think you guys remember that this used to be like this whole area still not finished but it used to be my office area like extra dining room area and Ryan built this room right here. You guys haven't seen forever. The room is a disaster because of Aurora. That stuff is all going away. This is all donation slash yard sale stuff. What happened to your finger my love? Let me kiss it. Is that better now? Yeah. Yeah, it's better now? Awesome. He's missing a hand. Ah! Ah, I'm missing a hand. But yeah, so there's the room. It's a big mess. Sorry, I didn't show you guys when it was all like clean and stuff. Where'd my drink go? God, story of my life. I did start a weight loss challenge with my sister, my aunt, my cousin, and one of our friends. I just really needed the motivation, you guys. I needed something to like get my ass in gear. So I've been watching what I've been eating. I've been trying to track, but since I have so many friends on my fitness pal, it's like I said before, I was trying to give it another go, but it freezes so bad, it just makes me not even want to track because every single time I try to put something in, it like takes forever for like one single item and even to change the amount of the item takes a long time so if you guys have noticed if you guys are following me on my fitness pal then I probably won't be very active on there much anymore because I'm gonna go back to my old one that I was using that I don't have any friends on or maybe like one or two family members because it's like so hard to like even track when you have like a thousand friends on there come on my fitness pal give it the show. Vanity's gonna be coming over Ryan needs to look at her car something's going on with um, her mom's boyfriend's car so he's gonna check that out because the boy's riding it and if the boy's riding a car then Ryan has to make sure that it's like you know not gonna burst into flames at any moment as far as my weight goes I have been fluctuating when I started the challenge about 15th or 16th of last month I was 180 so I weighed in light I, I was actually weighing about 184 so that kind of ruined my chances a little bit there I'm excited for that the weigh-in is this 16th so it's coming up and I weighed in 181 this morning I did take my measurements and I'm gonna show you guys my beginning and like after measurements I'm gonna do a video on that so stay tuned for that because I've actually been trying <laughs> and see if like anything has changed but for the last couple days I had some cramps in my legs so last night I took some magnesium it's called calm I'll show you a picture right now but it's a magnesium supplement and I get the unflavored kind so I just put it in my um, apple cider vinegar tea or I'll just mix it with um, just the passion tea or something like that that's you know not 
non-caffeinated before bedtime, but I have like a little bit of a headache, so I'm assuming that I'm low on some sodium. So this right here is my Soleil water. So I went ahead and I put a little glug of this inside of my water bottle and I took a few ibuprofen and drank the whole water bottle. So that was about 16 ounces of water. And that's all I've had um, apart from my Americano, but I'm really feeling like having another Americano made the exact same way. Round two, baby. For lunchtime, I went ahead and had some Kerrygold butter, two tablespoons, and I melted it down with some Valentina hot sauce. And I had that with an entire avocado with pink Himalayan sea salt and some grilled chicken breast on the side. And I went ahead and just wrote it down on my little notepad on my refrigerator for now. Hey, Mommy, are you hungry? Yeah, let's eat. Hey guys, guess who stopped by? Hello! Hi! Mom stopped by so we could hang out and I, so I could help her with some paperwork. Awesome girl. So I'm going to be having one piece of this 90% dark chocolate and four squares as a serving. So we'll see how much I end up having of this, but I'm going to put everything in my fitness, but I'll end up showing you guys that later. But I'm going to get one of these out right now. Hi! Mmm. You get used to the bitter chocolate. It's super good. The best. Okay. I'll have two. <laughs> this is so good. Alright. Okay, so for this crack slaw type of recipe, I'm just going to take my broccoli and I'm going to cut the florets off. I'm going to mandolin up the stalk and I'm going to take my cabbage and it was a big one, so I'm going to cut it in half and then quarter it and I'm going to use my little blade thing, mandolin and mandolin that half of a head of cabbage and give it a good rinse and use my salad spinner and get it all dried off and I love this thing. I got it at a thrift store. One of the best purchases I've ever made at a thrift store. And all my veggies are prepped now. In the pot here, I have two pounds of 93.7 lean ground beef. And I have garlic powder, onion powder, ginger, and pink salt. I just added half of those seasonings now, and then I'll add the other half later. Is it hot? Is it good? <laughs> All right, yum. So, celery. For the juice, if you don't want it all runny, you can go ahead and add some xanthan gum. And all you have to do is sprinkle this in your liquid and depending on how thick you want it, you want to start off with just a little amount, give it a stir, and it will thicken it up just nicely. And I like to measure out my servings with a measuring cup and divide it up. Here I'm going to take one of my servings, put a tablespoon of butter and some chili sauce and it's gonna be amazing. I probably would have rather had like a nut butter on top, but this was really good too. So, there you go. All right, so I mixed it all together and I'm just gonna eat it. I bet you anything it's gonna make me like not even care about food after I eat this because I'm just like whipping it up right now. I don't even know what I'm doing. It kind of reminds me of a meal like Hamburger Helper. You could probably put like taco seasonings instead of, I think I've done something similar like this with um, like taco seasoning flavors and made kind of like a hamburger helper style dish. It's kind of like that, but this one's um, Asian inspired. So I have, you know, the ginger and garlic and onion and stuff. I added in the butter just because um, the meat I got is lean. It was 97.3 lean ground beef. I like to add the fat to my meats if I get, um, you know, not grass-fed or free-range or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to finish eating this and drink my tea, 
and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so now that everybody's like out of the house, I have peace and quiet because sister's sleeping and guys all went to the trash. So let me talk to you really quick about what my plan is for the rest of the night. I have zero cravings, which is one thing I love about really focusing and tracking and making sure that I'm not overeating carbs or eating too many things that will cause me might cause me cravings like diet soda, no diet soda today, just that water that I had, tea, coffee, and that's what I'm gonna try to like stick to the most. Is why I actually made some more um, like passion tea and stuff. And I'll show you the drink I've been having at night before I go to bed. What I've been trying to do is kind of save my carbs for later in the day. That way. Um, when I go to sleep, I could do some like healing. And that's what I've heard is that when you save your carbs and like eat your carbs like later in the day, then you can use those carbs when you're sleeping to like heal your thyroid or just hormones and things like that. And then throughout the day when you're busy and active and this and that, either fast or if you guys do intermittent fasting or you can eat, you know, just fat and protein and then basically you're still burning, you know, body fat, you know, after you're done burning the fat that you ate, the dietary fat, but then you'd go back to burning body fat a little faster, I think, than you would if you were eating carbs throughout the day, and then, you know, you'd have to burn through that glucose first, and then burn through the fat that you ate, and then burn, you know, and then start burning body fat again, from what I understand. And I think I got a pretty good idea about it, I just don't know all the scientific terms and such. I am gonna have two more squares of dark chocolate, and I'll probably have that right now. And then I'm going to have my um, tea and my magnesium, which I'll show you later. And I've been loving that combo. And it helps me, like, go to sleep, except for it doesn't, like, keep me asleep. So that kind of sucks. I'll show you guys what I've been drinking probably right after this. So from the looks of me, I am getting ready to go to bed because it's just the end of the night. And I'm just excited for that part. What I'm going to do is take my cup, you know, my tried and true thing I've been loving lately. And then my passion tea. I just brewed this and then made it ice, chill it down, and um, I do this in a lot of my videos, so yeah. Sweeten it, liquid sucralose. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of this calm. It's about right. Apple cider vinegar. Ooh, it's like activating it. Okay, so this is my magnesium drink that I've been drinking one eternity later i am looking rough but it is the next day and i just wanted to let you know i didn't check in because ryan had ordered them pizza and it took a couple hours for it to get here and by the time the pizza got here like i was already done with the video i was like about to go to sleep but then i was like still hungry because my calories were kind of low so um, i ended up having some of my daughter's um, pepperoni and her cheese off her pizza because she doesn't even like that part she went from only liking that part to not liking that part at all so much i just ate the toppings off of her pizza so i'm gonna add that in my fitness pal and i will show you guys like the revised version of my macros now but yeah so just want to let you know and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye